Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are here for night one of the Creative Arts Emmys. 15th and 16th nomination. Your old hat at these Emmys. <laughs> I'm old. I, no, you're not old. I, I, I am older. I, I'm, I think I'm one of the older guys here now. I think, but it's no. It's very. It's very special. And it, believe it or not, it is still very new, because uh, television keeps re rebirthing itself. You know, it's changing so much, and it's becoming so exciting. And when you find out you're nominated, you, you just don't expect. You really don't expect it. You think, oh, would you expect it, having had it happen to you uh, a few times as it has with me? Uh, you don't. I, and when you do, you're you're quite you're quite uh, humbled by it because your peers nominate you. You know, it's a, it's a, peer, it's a peer nomination, so. Well, and you're not creating for an award, you're creating for a specific show or genre. That's right, that's absolutely right. It's a very, it's a very good point, you know. You, and when, when the time comes to submit an episode, you have to choose one, and you're like, well, uh, you know, what do you, what do you choose? I'll choose this one maybe, I don't, I mean, you have no idea. You choose what you think will be interesting and one, one that you, you feel that you made a very good contribution to and that you're proud of. Do you take any input from other people? Do you have them watch or listen and say, "Do you think this is a good one?" I have asked a couple of friends. I'll say, you know, and sometimes people will write me when they're like when Jessica Jones was uh, was happening. Uh, people said, you know, for what it's worth, I think show you know this and that was was, was should be your choice, you know, and it, it would be something that I would not normally uh, do. It's interesting. People just connect in different ways, and you just can't possibly predict, you know, what what will get nominated, what won't, you know. Yeah, and since television is constantly evolving and you're working at Netflix and working with Marvel, yeah. what has that experience been like? You, you know, it's a level of phenomenal I don't know how to quite articulate because I've never been part of a studio that had a, a, a universe of characters that all interrelate with one another, you know? I've never, I mean, I knew about Marvel, you know, in the comic books when I was a kid, and I certainly saw the movies and so forth, but the way that they, they really have to think very carefully about how you put forth a story about Jessica Jones but then she has to be part of the defenders and then she's coming back for another season it's it's and 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 the t the stories of Marvel are quite um, they're rich they're very they're very they're full of heart and and they're very um, I, 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 I think I think if you've ever felt like an outsider you will find or, or that you don't fit in uh, there's a Marvel story out there that will make you feel a little bit better you know, I think I think it's about it's a very inclusive kind of message as far as I can tell yeah, we've all felt that at one point or yeah. another. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and talk about Minority Report. Talk about the experience working on that show. You know, that was a little intimidating because the movie came out uh, 14 years ago, and you're standing on the shoulders of a guy like John Williams, who was really our, he's sort of a, a god walking among us. And I don't really mean to throw that word about, but I don't know if we'll ever see anybody else in our life, in my lifetime that will have that kind of contribution to the world of music. So he did this phenomenal score. They wanted a new story and a new music score. So, I mean, the show didn't unfortunately last very long, but I was so proud of working on it, and I was so happy with the DreamWorks, uh, working with the DreamWorks people. They, they were great. I, I, I just get kind of spoiled, you know, with the, with the good people I work with, so. Yeah, really, like, two great dream projects, honestly. They, they were. DreamWorks and Marvel. I mean, that's that's a good day. It's a good day at the <laughs> that's office. A day. That's yeah. a good day at the office. Well, I hope today is a good day at the office, and you go home with one, two... Who cares, you, what, know? you know? Add to those three you have on your shelf. Thank you very much. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our video, and in the comments below, let us know what category you love at the Emmy Awards.